Hey guys, this video is a little bit different. Um, it's gonna be sort of a story. Um, this happened around the beginning of November and I just thought it was really exciting and cool when it happened. It's the story of how I got a leather purse from Kohl's for free. Um, <laughs> this was, like I said, mid-November. My birthday is in November. It might've been like the first week. Um, my birthday's in November and so they send me a birthday gift card every year um, for ten dollars because you're part of like the rewards program you get a ten dollar card uh, sent to your email uh, and it's good I think for the whole month of your birthday so I uh, received that at the beginning of November and I was thinking okay well I'll look for an opportunity to use this I was thinking possibly um, that I would check out and see if they had any maternity clothes because I had recently um, found out that I was pregnant and was, you know, looking ahead to that point of view of like, I'm not going to fit into a lot of the clothes I own soon, not like now, but soon. Um, so I was sort of looking for an opportunity to use that. Um, and then when like the coupons come in the mail, I'm not usually thinking about them, but like if I already have something I need to buy or something I need to spend, then I'll look at the coupons and see when the dates line up and when it makes sense to use them, right? So um, the mailer came. And it had one of those like 10, 15, 30, whatever um, discounts that they do. Um, side note and pro tip, if you use the Kohl's app, uh, then you could actually pick the 30% every single time because you just can add a coupon to the app and use it in store. You can add the coupon just from its online coupon code and those for the mailers like where you peel off and you get either 10 or 20 or 30 or whatever the different promo is um, those codes are not single use they're going to be something like jolly 10 and holly 30 or whatever like depending on the season um you know thankful 30 i would depending on what month it is um so you can actually go to like you know retail me not or whatever coupons.com kind of website has all those coupon codes, find the coupon code for the 30% off and you can add that to your app and then no matter what you got in the mail, you can use that in store. I just think that that's a fun tip. Anyway, um, that came and I, I don't remember which one I got in the mail, but I used that tip so I had it uh, ready to go. And then it also had a one day use only $5 off a purchase of $5 or more. Um, so I was like, okay, sure, I've got the $10, I can use this $5 and then whatever else isn't covered by the $15, I can get like 30% off. And I think there's also like another 15 I might have been able to stack. So I was thinking this will be, I'll get a really good deal on whatever I decide to buy. Um, so I was gonna be up in town, that sort of side of town uh, that evening anyway. So I got off early that day actually because it was the Friday before Veterans Day. We didn't get Veterans Day off or was it Friday of Veterans Day? Veterans Day observed, I don't know, we didn't get a day off, but um, we often will get a couple hours off at the end of the work day uh, around a holiday, but we never find out until like an hour before, which is frustrating, but uh, so that happened. I got out at like three instead of five, so I have extra time to go shopping, which is great. So I went to Kohl's and I was like, great, I'm going to see what they have in the maternity section, maybe get some, you know, basics like a, a belly band. I still don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> or see if they have any, you know, nursing bras or something that might be more comfortable or whatever they have, I'll see what they have and maybe I'll get something. Um, and so I get there and this is, like I said, it was mid-November around like the 10th or the 11th. Um, and it was already starting to get super crowded with like holiday shoppers. Uh, it was pretty crowded for that store. I did like two or three laps of the store looking around trying to find any sign that was like here's the maternity section you know looking trying to see if any clothes looked like they were maternity uh looking for maybe pregnant mannequins or something and I was like I don't see anything um and I kind of I tend to be kind of um uh, stubborn I guess but also kind of socially anxious to the point where um I don't want to talk to like a sales rep or anybody like an employee of the store partly because I just don't like talking to people and partly because like if they're not gonna try to like put the effort into selling me on something then they don't deserve my business 
Um, I feel the same way about crummy movie trailers, by the way. I feel like if a movie trailer is crummy, that no one should see the movie, even if the movie is really good. Um, but that, again, is a side point. <laughs> anyway, two laps, three laps through the store, and I didn't see anything. And I was like, great, I guess they don't have a maternity section. And I was just about to get around and leave. And then I was like, but I still have this $5 that I could use. You know, I can find something maybe in the accessory section. That's usually my go-to if I don't want to buy clothes. Um, I can look through like the whole section that goes from um, makeup through jewelry and around to like the purses and then like accessories, scarves and stuff like that. So something from that section. So I was looking around and I was realizing that like, yeah, the, the purse I was using um, at the time was kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, and I could use something maybe a little bit bigger. Um, so, you know, I recently switched from the pocket to the pocket plus. So it was kind of sticking out of the purse a little bit. Um, yeah, so I was like, I'll look at the purses. So I was, you know, looking around, not really paying attention to the prices, just kind of getting a feel for what was there and what styles were in. Cause like, I don't stay on top of that stuff. I find out when I go to the store, it's like, oh, I guess there's nothing I like in, in season this year. Uh, I guess I'll buy a purse next year. Um, so I was looking around and then I saw um, a few different purses and I saw this one and I liked it because it's got like a pocket in the front, a pocket in the back with a zipper and then on the inside it's got like a zipper section in the middle. So basically it's effectively got this section in the middle and then the back and the front. So it's got like three major pockets in the middle. And I really appreciate like pockets and dividers in a purse. Like I hate a big purse that's just one big sack, one big cavern. Cause mostly, you know, if my purse is getting big and heavy, it's because there's a lot of this little stuff in here. You know, here's like a, well, I'll go through this later. You know, uh, lotion and hand sanitizer and Blistex and lipstick and nail oil and a Kit Kat. Um, <laughs> and I like to have like a section for different, you know, compartments for different things. Um, so I liked that about it. And I was like, okay, well that's nice. I like it, let's take a look at the price tag. And I'm like, okay, this is the price tag. You can see that, I'm like, okay, yeah. Uh, no, $139, no. And I saw that it says it's leather. And I was like, oh, I've never bought or owned a leather purse before for that reason that like I've never, been able to justify the price of a real other purse. I've always gotten the fake, like poly, whatever, um, which is fine. You know, like I never really got into leather as a thing until really I started using the traveler's notebooks and I really love them. So I've thought back and forth that maybe, you know, it would make sense to invest in a leather purse, but I wasn't ready to that night, um, especially over like an impulse of like, oh, that's kind of nice. Um, so I was like, okay, I set it down. Um, and then I, you know, was walking around and looking at other things and some of them were okay and other ones were, you know, whatever. Uh, some were big, some were small. And then I realized, like, I hadn't been paying attention to the actual, like, signs that are up there. You know, if you've been to Kohl's, they have, like, these digital price signs and they list, like, this brand is 40% off. So original price this much, sale price this much for, like, all the different price points. So I was like, oh, well, it looks like a lot of these different purses are 40% off. So maybe all purses are 40% off. I should look and see like how much these different things are. Cause like if a, you know, if I can afford, you know, a, maybe $30 would make it, you know, 15 and then I can still take some off. Like it would be still pretty cheap if I got like a $50 purse that got, you know, discounted a bit. So I had made my way from like the nice leather section to like the cheapy, you know, glitzy and bedazzled ones. And um, I then realized everything was on sale. I was like, okay, let me, you know, make my way back and see, you know, roughly like sort of get like a rough estimate in my mind of how much it would be after coupons and whether that seemed like something I could splurge on for my birthday. Um, so I went around and I was like, okay, yeah, this brand's 40% off, this brand's 40% off, okay, okay. Well, let me see, because there was a couple of these. There was one that was a bit cheaper, it was in the like $70 range or something, 70, 80. Um, that was a little bit smaller, that I also thought was kind of nice. Um, so let me see what brand these are, the, uh, Stone and Co. Leather Company. Um, so great, let me go look. Um, and for whatever reason, I couldn't find the digital price tag thing uh, for this brand at all. Um, so it's like, okay, that's weird, but let me pull up the app 
and in the app there's like a price scanner and so I grab my phone and um, I just grab the first purse um, there that I see that's this brand and it's actually this one um, it's not like the the small one I should probably should have grabbed the small one first but I grabbed this one um, and I scan the tag and wait a couple seconds and it pops up not like 40% off but clearance 90% off it said it was $13.90 um, and usually clearance things will have like a, you know, a sticker on the tag or something. It has no sticker. There's nothing indicating anywhere on the shelf or on the tag that this was 90% off. And so I didn't believe it. I was like, okay, that's got to be a glitch, right? So I go and I stand in line at the jewelry counter thinking that that would be quicker than waiting in the big long line just to get a price check. And then he's like dealing with somebody else who's trying to buy like a couple different watches and like deciding not to buy a watch and whatever. Um, so I'm standing there for like 10 minutes, but I'm like, it's worth it if he's going to tell me that this is, you know, 15 bucks. Um, but then eventually he was like, you know, there's a price checker over there. And I still, I was like, okay, great. Like, but if it tells me the same thing as my phone, but that's not true, like there's no way that can be true. 90% off clearance. Like, why is it still on the shelf? Like, things start off at clearance at, like, 50% and then go to 60, 70, but, like, they get sold by then, especially if it's a nice leather purse, right? So I did not believe it. Um, so I went, I scanned it at the price checker, same thing, $13.90, and I'm like, okay, well, what's the worst that can happen? I go to the checkout line, I, you know, stand in the checkout line, and there's actually, like, it wasn't that long. Um, the line looked long, but it was moving quickly because there were a lot of people on register, which is good. That's, that bodes well for Christmas. If I go back there, but um, yeah, I, I got to the checkout counter and I was still just kind of like, I don't know, is he going to comment on this? But the checker didn't comment at all about like, oh, wow, you're getting a good deal. Even though I had like all of my Kohl's cash stuff on my phone um, and I was, you know, trying to use all that. And I basically, yeah, it was $14, you know, $13.90 plus tax. I don't know. I think... I think tax is calculated after discounts. So it was $14.90, I had $15 of Kohl's cash um, for my two different coupons, and paid nothing out of pocket, and walked away with a leather purse, baby's first leather purse. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, I've been loving it so far. It's been uh, treating me really well, it's just a nice size. It's not like so massively big that it's getting too heavy, though I probably should clear it out. Which brings me to an impromptu, what's in my bag? Because that's the thing that people do on YouTube, right? Um, and mostly because like, I know there's some crap in here and I need to clear it out, so I might as well show you what's in here while I do that. So yeah, the front section, front pocket here, it has no zipper, usually holds my keys. I just got home from work, I don't know where I set my keys. I will find them later and put them back, but that's usually where those go. Um, then it has kind of these side pockets here, which I think I put some stuff in, but I forget what. So let's find out. Let's see, in this one, there's some wet lens wipes. My mother-in-law works at an optometrist and uh, she gives me these things all the time and I never remember to use them. I usually use my t-shirt. There's also a little wooden bead. <laughs> this um, I found on the floor of the church when our cousin dropped an M&M on the floor of the church. And I was like, oh, let me get that so that there's not an M&M on the floor of the church when we leave. And I, you know, think I'm being really smooth. I pick it up, I just tuck it in my purse. And then I realize, like on our way out of the church that it's a wooden bead and the M&M is still there somewhere. It probably is still there somewhere weeks later. Anyway, on the other side, uh, there's one stick of juicy fruit. I think I'm gonna take that out. Uh, there is, oh, an obstetrical towelette that I stole from the doctor. Forgot that was there. Um, a ginger candy that my coworker gave me um, in case I ever got pregnant and I still haven't used. And two smushed vanilla Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> I keep forgetting these are here, these pockets at all. Um, and so I don't use them. Then in the back, pocket, which is the same as the front one, except it has a zipper. Oh, there's my keys. <laughs> They're in the wrong one. Okay. 
And there's nothing else there. I forget what I've put there in the past. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Okay. So then the inside has, like I said, this zipper section. I don't know if you can really tell. This zipper section here, I'll close it so you can see, that basically acts as a divider. So there's like a, a front section and a back section, and then this whole zipper goes all the way to the bottom, so it's like a full third section. So the front section has my coin purse. This is a little Slytherin coin purse. They sell these at Universal Studios. Um, I was given this, well, I was given a Gryffindor one as a Christmas gift last year. Um, because the person who got, my aunt got me in the, the Secret Santa exchange, very sweetly knew I was a Harry Potter fan, um, didn't happen to know what house I was in and went with like a default, I guess. Um, and it was very sweet, but I realized that it was the one that they were selling at Universal. We at the time had passes, and so I brought it with me the next time we went. And I went into the store and I asked the people behind the register who asked their manager and they were so sweet, even though I didn't have a receipt um that they were able to swap it for me um i was able to return the gryffindor one and get the slytherin one and they just did a straight swap and it was so sweet of them so i've been using this for my uh change i don't know if i showed this in my wallet setup video but um yeah here's the wallet from the wallet setup video it has a sticky note with a grocery list on it which that can be thrown away um this wallet setup video i don't know go search my channel for wallet is a uh, chic sparrow uh, yeah, Shakespeare, Pemberley Castle Rock. Um, it's a deluxe with the pockets. So that's like I keep my cash and some checks in the back. Um, the uh, Nano. I would flip through it, but you would see things that you're not supposed to see. And I've already done a flip through. Here's a receipt from the pet store for some pet food. A receipt from Walmart, which is from today yes I need to enter this into savings catcher uh, before I forget some uh, Kleenex which hmm, I might want to put these in a different compartment later here's a receipt from um, Carl's jr. see this is why I'm doing this to clear it all out I've got Altoid Smalls, um, I don't really like these, I don't recommend them, but I like the size. There's like a, there's like one Altoid in here, the Smalls are the sugar-free ones, and like, aspartame is evil. There's some other sugar-free mints from like a different container, and then there's one like after-dinner mint, little starlight thingies that I got from like a restaurant and never ate, so that's in here. Uh, and then I also have a tin of these gingers from... Trader Joe's and these are these kind of like I don't know they're like a powdery kind of tablet thing and I just kind of suck on these if I'm feeling a little bit nauseous and they help a little bit um, if I'm mildly nauseous definitely do recommend having something ginger on you when you're risking your morning sickness then I also have some acetaminophen that I just got this from 7-eleven and I still haven't opened the bottle or like the box with the bottle in it because fortunately I have not needed to since I bought them but when I bought them I was having a really bad day um, so we're good I had like a dose at home and then I was like I need my own bottle so those are in there uh, for when I need them because you're not because you're not supposed to take um, I usually am an ibuprofen person but you can only you can't take ibuprofen Aleve aspirin or anything when you're pregnant only acetaminophen so you should know that um, one half used Kleenex and my rosary this is the rosary I got for my first communion like way back um, that's actually in like this front pocket that's sort of sitting I don't know if it's like a phone pocket or something um, but that's yeah that's where that goes the back pocket is where I keep my planner um, you've all seen this this is my Chic Sparrow Outlander wine pocket size. Um, here's an envelope for church next week that I've been carrying around and I need to write a check for. So I'm gonna set that over here so I don't forget. Uh, this is a little pen case that I got from Daiso. I use this to carry around miscellaneous pens 
that I need um, on me at any time. I have like a few different colors. There's some colored pencils in here because I need to fill out some more of the, um, the ornaments on my Christmas countdown spread. Um, and then I've got, yeah, some green ones for like the current color of the current week I'm on. And then the gray, I always carry around the gray uh, Stabilo and a gray uh, friction color for accents, which is always nice. Sometimes I have a pencil in there too. I'm not sure where that went. But this keeps everything tidy and that just goes in the back pocket underneath my planner. And then also back here, ah, I was wondering where this was, my Blistex, which is very important. This should have been in a different pocket. But um, I always recommend this. Blistex medicated lip ointment is the very best. If you have like the most terrible chapped lips ever, apply this a few times and you'll be completely fine in like a day. It's, it's incredible. And then I have both of my husband's car keys. Um, I'm gonna have to give at least one of these back to him. <laughs> all right, then here's the middle section, which is where I sort of keep all that miscellaneous smallish stuff. Um, so it's nice that I have this middle pocket that, uh, you know, I'm not going to lose all this stuff. It's not going to get like thrown around um, in the bigger pockets. So here, I don't really know why I have these in here, but these are the post-it flags. That's what these look like, or the post-it tabs, I mean, um, before like I chop off the blue bar and then I put like the stickers and stuff and that's how I get the tabs um, in my planner that I showed you for the December setup. Yeah, that's those are there. I think I wanted to use some on my uh, bullet journal at work and I haven't yet. Um, these are C bands. <laughs> they're acupressure wristbands for nausea. I've used them a little bit. I think that their effectiveness is mostly um, a sort of a placebo effect, but you know, doing something. It's like using these and taking a ginger is like usually enough to handle most of my mild symptoms. So that's pretty good. See, this is Gold Bond Ultimate Healing with Aloe. It's just, you know, the little one that you get at the uh, travel section at like Walmart and it's like at least half empty, but it's nice because it doesn't smell like anything fancy. So it's not like a distracting smell. And also like if my husband asks for lotion, I can give him something manly. Uh, this is the Julep Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum. Um, it's just a nail oil pen, which I really ought to use more often. Um, but it's here for when I do remember. A couple Kit Kats that I just have as a snack. My fidget cube. I got this as a gift and I like to use it sometimes just to kind of mindlessly fiddle with. Um, and that fits in there nicely. This is my hand sanitizer. I got this from a vendor. I don't remember the name of the vendor, but at LeakyCon last year. You can see it's just like a normal like Bath and Body Works one but it's got a little label on the front that says Essence of Dittany, which is fun. I um, sort of half refilled it with just clear, um, I forget the brand, you know, the normal one. Uh, so it, it still kind of smells like a sort of a, I don't know, fairly gender neutral, but very strong. So I think it's fine to keep diluting it. And let's see, I've got chapstick as well because I couldn't find my Blistex. And I've got three lipsticks. I love these Revlon lip butters. They are fantastic. And my very favorite one, this is discontinued. Both of these are discontinued, by the way. So sorry. But my very favorite is called Fig Jam. Here, I will swatch this on one half of my mouth. You can see. I love this one because it's like kind of bold, but also kind of um, understated. It's like a My Lips But Better but like in a sort of bolder way, I don't know. And then this one here is called Red Velvet and it's a really easy wear, uh, like red color. It's a little bit cool, I think, but it's really easy to, to wear and I don't have to worry about it like getting all over the place. These just, I don't know, they apply really nicely. Uh, no, let's see, can you see that? That <laughs> looks terrible. Oh, I look like the Joker or something. This is uh, the Red Velvet and this is Fig Jam. I wore this one to my wedding. And then finally this is um, um, Blood Nose. 
This is a julep, um, what do they call it? Lip crayon. It's balm lip crayon, and the color is almond nude cream. And I've run out of lips to swatch it on, so I'll do it on my rip, my hand here. It's a nice kind of a peachy color, and it's got like this balm part in the middle and like the color on the outside. So it's kind of nice and moisturizing, and I really like that color too. So those are the three colors that I have carried around with me. Um, usually, like I'll clear these out every so often, and then whenever. I put a lipstick on, I'll just toss it in my bag for the day. Um, but yeah, these are also here just in case I want something. These are like my go-tos usually. More or less. And now that is an empty purse. So yeah, can us see what it looks like on the inside a little bit more. Uh, yeah, it's the, it's the purse. I don't know if you can, it's not like a full green leather or anything. But it's definitely a nicer purse than I've ever owned before. And I feel really, you know, just so happy and blessed that like I was able to get it for such a great deal, like free is the best deal possible. Um, yeah, I was able to get it for free and it's been great. It was like the perfect birthday gift. So um, yeah, that's the story. And that's my, what's what was in my bag. I have to put it back now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you watched that whole thing, like, I don't know what to say. Like, uh, thank you, and what's your problem? No, I'm kidding. All right, um, don't forget to subscribe because I post videos three times a week, and you don't want to miss those, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.